And you know this, you cannot go across the line anymore. I think you should retire while you are still strong, while you are still famous. That's the idea. Don't wait till everybody beats you. You know? So I retired uh, after 59. That was the best. And you, you see, even now it, the name is there. Because I retired at the right time. That time I was already in Singapore, you know? So I made that 59 that I'm my last one for Singapore. That I was a Singaporean. So in future I, I have to run for Singapore, but there were a lot of Singapore good runners. Later it came up. So I had to give up. The world meet, I won uh, two silvers, two silvers and one bronze. The bronze was, uh, was born uh, in Copenhagen, Copenhagen, Sweden. I came third. The two silvers was, as I said before, the first one, the, my first one was 53.2, and then the next one was I ran in the 50 group in Christchurch, was in New Zealand, when I got second. I got beaten again by a New Zealander. So this time again I got a second instead of gold. So the uh, World Games, I got two silvers and one bronze. Those days was not very many because they have to get finance financially. They have to bring themselves, you know. So not very many can afford to go. Some people say, "Yeah, what old fellows running? Who were who cares old fellows?" They have got the attitude, you know. They know they, this prejudice, you know. So we have to fight that also. But we fight it for our health. See, like I'm 85. I'm still thank God I'm okay. You know, I have no problem except for some muscles, ankle injury or something like that. But general health is good because of the training, because of our participation, because of year-round year, year participation, our health, because of masses. You know, they've taken up competition and training. So it all goes together, you know, and the health goes together with it.